Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 556. What is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is the pauses in breathing during sleep that happens for more than 10 seconds, and this can happen between 5 to 30 times in an hour. Now because of these pauses in breathing, there is disrupted sleep at night, and this would lead to daytime sleepiness. What is the most common type of sleep apnea? The most common type of sleep apnea is obstructive sleep apnea. What is the difference between central and obstructive sleep apnea? Central sleep apnea is when a person stops breathing at night because the signals in the brain that tell the body to keep breathing don't work properly. So in this condition, there is just no effort made to inhale. Whereas in obstructive sleep apnea, an effort is made to breathe, but because of the collapsed upper airways, it can't get air in the lungs. So basically, central sleep apnea is when there is no respiratory effort, whereas in obstructive sleep apnea, there is respiratory effort against airway obstruction. And obstructive sleep apnea is associated with obesity, loud snoring, systemic or pulmonary hypertension, arrhythmias, and possibly sudden death. Name some of the causes that can lead to central sleep apnea. Central sleep apnea can be caused by neurologic problems, drug use, as well as heart or kidney failure. Now one additional thing to note about sleep apnea is because of these disturbances in breathing, there is hypoxia that can occur, and this would lead to increase in erythropoietin release, and therefore an increase in erythropoiesis is also seen with sleep apnea. What are some treatment options for sleep apnea? Sleep apnea can be treated with CPAP or surgery, and it can also stop after weight loss. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.